So as a Jamaican, I've had the good fortune to study both here and abroad. And in both places, I've met a lot of really incredible and inspiring friends. And some of these friends, in addition to being doctors and lawyers and engineers and teachers, are also gay. It makes me sad that in modern day Jamaica, wonderful people like these are treated with hostility and with anger just because of something that I think is as harmless and as personal as the gender of the person that they choose to love. I think that a nation that allows discrimination based on any characteristic like race or age or gender or religion or sexuality is a society that hasn't yet come to terms with the fact that these are all very superficial differences. I also want to point out that for every loud voice out there in Jamaica right now crying for you know more division and more discrimination, there are other voices like mine who would like to call for more love and more respect. I do think that it will take a great deal of patience and a great deal of courage, but I think that eventually we can reach a Jamaica that recognizes that we are all fundamentally Jamaicans and we are all deserving of the same level of respect and love and tolerance. And um, I came to say this message today because I'm Azra Mohammed, I'm a Jamaican and I am an ally of the LGBT community.